As a Seiko enthusiast, I've always been on the lookout for the perfect bracelet to replace my Seiko SRPD bracelet and give it that extra touch of class and comfort. I tried different versions from the internet, but I never felt satisfied with the results and how they felt on my wrist. Recently, I got my hands on a Forstner Model J bracelet, especially built for Seiko SKX and SRPD models. This combo is certainly one to take into consideration if you already or if you are planning to get yourself into the world of Seiko with your first SRPD model. Before I buy a new watch or a new bracelet, I firstly try to search the internet for its historical meaning and how it appeared on market. So to truly appreciate the Forstner Model J bracelet, it's essential to understand the history behind the Forstner as a brand. Forstner is a name that holds significant historical weight, especially in the world of watch accessories. Founded in the early 1900s, the brand gained recognition in the mid 20th century for its innovative watch bands, particularly during the golden era of space exploration. You would be surprised to see what Forstner and the moon exploration have in common. Forstner's claim to fame came when their bracelets were used by NASA astronauts during the Gemini and Apollo missions. Astronauts needed watch bands that were not only stylish but also functional and comfortable. And Forstner's lightweight, flexible and adjustable designs made their bracelets an ideal choice. The most famous instance is the moment when the NASA crew members wore Forstner Comfit bracelets on their Omega Speedmasters during the Apollo missions. And around the 60s, the company was acquired by Jacoby Bender, which then took the innovative comfy design and carried it forward under a new banner. The rebranding effort led to the introduction of the JB Champion, a name that reflected both the heritage of the original design and the vision of its new owners. This transition marked a significant moment in the evolution of the brand showcasing how the legacy of the Confit style was preserved while simultaneously being adapted to fit a fresh identity in the market. The connection to NASA's space program lent Forstner an aura of rugged reliability and adventure, appealing to those who admired the space travel and the elegance of vintage watch design. And the Forstner bracelet was designed to withstand extreme conditions proving its worth in both terrestrial and extraterrestrial environments. Astronauts required gear that could endure the rigors of space and the challenges of weightlessness, and the Comfit line met those needs perfectly. The heritage not only adds a rich backstory to the bracelet, but also enhances its allure among collectors and watch enthusiasts today. But today Forstner offers modern reissues of their vintage designs, including the Model J bracelet, which is actually a Jubilee bracelet, which draws inspiration from their historical pieces, but with upgraded materials and craftsmanship. And right from the first sight, the J model is a beautifully crafted Jubilee style bracelet, which is well known for its five link design. This combination of brushed and polished finishes gives the bracelet a versatile appearance, making it perfect for both tool watches and more refined timepieces. Originally designed for Rolex's dress watches on their 40th anniversary, the Jubilee bracelet quickly became popular for its comfort and luxury icon. And Forzner's take on this design pays homage to the elegance of the Jubilee while incorporating the brand's space age legacy. And yeah, you might be surprised, but it's not unknown for Forzner to feature their bracelets on luxury watches. In the past, they became an OEM bracelet supplier for brands like Rolex, Omega, JLC, Longines, Bulova, Hamilton, Zodiac, and the list continues. And as a Seiko lover, I still feel that Seiko could use a bit more budget to pair their watches with higher quality bracelets and straps, as these watches are meant to be daily beaters. But until they choose this path, Forstner not only that cover this aspect, but they do it in the most meaningful way carrying their history and providing the best bracelet that you can gift your wrist with. And if you're not passionate about history, let's get to it. The Model J is made of 316L stainless steel, and this ensures that the bracelet will stand up to daily wear, 
whether you're wearing it on a dive watch like the Seiko SKX or a more casual watch like the Seiko 5 Sports. It fits actually on many SKX variants and SRPD and even SRPK models. Right from the box, it comes with two solid end links that provide a secure and snug fit against the case, ensuring there's no unsightly gap between the bracelet and the watch case. On its original bracelet, my Seiko produced a lot of noise with the hollow end links, as they never fit the watch case properly, no matter how many manual adjustments I made. But on this one, I managed to precisely fit them so that no unwanted Christmas jingle noise is heard when you raise your hand to check the time. One of the standout design features of the Model J is its taper, which starts at 22mm at the lugs and slims down to 16mm at the clasp. The Jubilee bracelet naturally is meant to be a comfortable wrist presence, but with these dimensions it also gives you more flexibility. As well, the 18.5mm clasp is milled and well constructed, and paired with double push buttons. Its click when closed sounds like after closing the clasp the watch is going nowhere. The combination of polished center links and brushed outer links adds to its vintage appeal. The polished sections catch the light beautifully without being too flashy. The individual links are thin and flexible, allowing the bracelet to conform the shape of any wrist. As a reference, on my 6.5 inch wrist I had to remove 6 links. And talking about this, I like the fact that they use screws to secure the links that I could easily remove with the provided screwdriver that I found in its box when it arrived. On the wrist, unlike some other aftermarket bracelets that can feel stiff or teeny, the Model J feels sturdy on the wrist, but paired with the Seiko SRPT case, it functions as a counterweight for the watch case to keep it balanced on the wrist. And still talking about aesthetics, the polished and brushed parts are incredibly well made and match the aesthetics of my Seiko. For the moment, there is a huge discrepancy between my watch and the bracelet, because my watch had already 4 years of wrist time and caught a lot of scratches during this period, and the Jubilee barely has 2 weeks on my wrist. But certainly after a few months it will catch a lot of scratches and match the overall appearance of the watch. And before I decided to make a review for it, I wore the bracelet a bit more than a week. And I can tell that this is one of the most comfortable bracelets that I ever owned. And remember, nobody paid me anything to say all these things, this is just my honest opinion as a simple owner. And another aspect that impressed me were the 6 micro adjustments that the clasp comes with. And thanks to these 6 micro adjustments, I was able to fit it precisely on my wrist. And Forstner is known for the perfect fit with their Comfit bracelets, that their main meaning is to be easily adjustable. So no wonder why they fit this one with 6 micro adjustments. And what an honest and unpaid review would this be without some negative points? No brand and no product is perfect and neither one will ever be. One negative point that I found on the Model J was when I had to adjust it to my wrist. And yeah, Forstner as a brand covered all situations in case any user doesn't have the proper tools to adjust it. They did this by providing a free screwdriver, which is a nice touch, it came in the box. But the Jubilee bracelet in its essence is not an easy to adjust bracelet, even more without proper tools. It took me a while to find the proper fit and some screws seemed over tightened. They were not damaged but they were a bit over tightened. With a bit more force I managed somehow to unscrew them, but maybe for a watchmaker this should be an easy job, but consider the fact that you can adjust it by yourself, it could be challenging for some clumsy hands just like mine. But overall the screws are always the best choice when it comes to durable bracelets, and of course Forzner doesn't disappoint here. Maybe the links are not that tolerant to micronic screw errors. And this makes the fitting of the links to be quite tight, leaving no space for mistakes or improperly fit screws. Although shared with you as a negative fact, this means that the precision of the milling process of the links and its screws holes is quite high and done with precision. Talking about the Jubilee style bracelet, it is usually a bracelet that is suitable to more formal occasions, which makes it a bit too formal for a better watch like the Seiko SRPD or the SKX line, but it all depends on the taste and how each user wants to use it. 
Firstly, I got this one because I wanted to give my Seiko 5 a more dress casual appearance. And if I do so, I do it with a high quality one. That really has a historical significance. I forgot to mention this at the beginning of this video. But it came in just a simple box with two spare spring bars, one flathead screwdriver and two solid end links. And it's not just this particular model, from what I saw on other users and from what I saw on my other bracelet because I have two bracelets from them, they always feature spring bars, a flathead screwdriver and of course yeah, the bracelet. And yeah, if you are buying something that costs $165, you get what you pay for. If you don't believe me, even at a macro level, you can see the quality and the attention to details that it was given in its production and milling process. And this series is not only for Seiko. They also offer variants for Omega and Tudor Black Bay. From the small and humble milled logo to the packaging, this bracelet screams tool and not necessarily fashion icon, even though it excels in this category as well. This Seiko has been a tool for me for the past 4 years and from now on it will be that tool watch that will carry the NASA and the especially Apollo missions history with it. And all these things strapped on my wrist. Maybe Japan and the United States never met on the moon, but on Earth they make a great team. One to tell the time, the other to make sure that you feel comfortable and keep the watch on your wrist. And remember, this channel is just my passion and you also share the same passion for Seikos. I left a link in the description of this video to their website if you already have a Seiko SRPD or SNK and want to pair it with a bristly like this. And I hope you like this video and in case you don't know what to do now, you can watch other videos on my channel or hit the like button and if you really consider, hit that subscribe button. My name is Ed and this was just another episode from Risaga. Cheers!